My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, addiction recovery coach, life coach, minister, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. You can listen to us on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and Google Music. Friends, one morning I was getting ready to minister, and I was struggling because I knew that morning's message was intense. I was not nervous. Um knowing how it would be received by all who would hear it. I was just nervous to speak about it. I knew that it was what the Lord placed on my heart to teach them, but I also knew that it would be hard for people to hear that message. Although I pleaded with, uh, with the Lord for grace and favor with his people, and the Lord spoke uh, in Jeremiah chapter 1 into my heart at that time. I quickly found it in my Bible and read it. I set my face towards the message of the Lord and the Lord spoke to me that day and preached without fear or reservation to the folks listening. I knew I found freedom to teach the word inhibited as a result of this lesson from Jeremiah. Those listening to me who chose to plant the seed that was spoken and sown uh, as difficult as it might have been also experienced freedom through my message that sermon yielded fruit among those who heard it because of the obedience to what the lord told me to do this lesson from jeremiah was a turning point in my life personally since then i have operated with this as my mission statement simply speak forth the word of god and place all dependence upon performance on the author's shoulders i have found incredible liberty in this jeremiah one has taught me so many things and as i reflect over it i decided to share this re revelation so that others can find such freedom each verse holds special meaning for the mission the Lord gave me. As I walk through it, I pray that his word also speaks to you and your calling. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to do the nations. In Jeremiah 1, 4 through 5. One could say that destiny makes the difference between the ordinary and the extraordinary. Destiny is not a preordained path chosen for you that will be accomplished whether or not you cooperate with it. Destiny is a special calling upon your life that the Lord purposed for you before you were even born. It takes full collaboration on your part. God loves you so much that he created you with destiny in mind. He took great care of informing and equipping you to carry it out in his plan for your life. He has also been speaking it to your heart, placing a desire in you to pursue it. When you operate as God's design for you, you will experience incredible joy. If you look at the great men in the Bible, you will see that they were fully aware that they had a destiny to fulfill. They knew uh, God had a plan for their lives. Like Jeremiah, the intensity of God's love for him, that is why he wrote Psalms 139. He knew that the Lord created him in their womb with a purpose in mind. Isaiah also spoke of his calling in Isaiah 49. Before from my birth, he has made mention of my name in Isaiah 49.1. Jesus operated in his purpose while on this earth and knew that uh, he came to do what he came to do. The Lord's spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and the recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And you can find that in Luke, uh, I believe it's 4, 18 through 19. Lastly, the Apostle Paul wrote that he was called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God 
many times in the epistle, recounting his mission to, to everyone he ministered to, a mission that was long. All of these men overcame extraordinary circumstances because they were sure of their calling. They had a destiny. They knew God love and chose them for a specific purpose. The end result, the world was blessed when the Lord spoke. This to, to me, that particular Sunday morning for ministry, I knew that I had been set apart to teach the word of God without fear. I knew the Lord loved me and delighted in operate in his way. He has called me to be a, uh, a minister to his beloved folks, speaking forth the word in love, but also in fullness with no apologies. I took great comfort in knowing that this was what I was supposed to do when I started ministering. Simply put, seek the Lord, teach the word, and watch the seeds harvest. Call me at 844-405-HELP. You and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and others. Be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their life and make a difference in your life. And remember that God really loves you. And I ask each and every one of you listening on the radio or watching me on video to seek God for guidance and direction daily because your life will flourish to all new uh, 